The next thing I'm just going to um, you know, talk about it very briefly. I will not go through the details. Is if you have the RLC circuit connected to the AC source. In other words, if you have the uh, resistance, if you have the inductor and you have the capacitor, all of them in the circuit to see what is happening. And it's called the second order circuit. So if you have a source um, uh, that's going to be time dependent, so we have a source that's going to be time dependent and it's going to be connected to the uh, inductor. And then it's going to be connected to the resistance. And then it goes uh, and connected to um, capacitor. Um, we want to see what happens uh, if we have uh, uh, this here. So if you have the inductor, you have the resistance and you have the capacitor and assume it's going to be uh, negative positive. Uh, and the voltage in, in this one is going to be VL and this one is going to be VR and in this one is going to be uh, VC. If you have it like that, if I uh, go ahead and write the KVL, this circuit, so as I write the KVL. Uh, so if I write the KVL, basically I have to add all the um, uh, voltage in that and then say it's uh, going to be zero. So in this case, if I start from this uh, point and rotate here, I have negative Vs plus the VL plus the VR plus the VC would be zero. So if I rearrange it um, and take the VS to the uh, other side, I'm going to have the VL uh, plus the VR plus the VC is equal to negative VS. And then if I go ahead and substitute each of these terms with the equivalent um, uh, formula that contain uh, uh, I in that. So that we know in the in the inductor we have the uh, the, uh, the V is going to be L D I T over D T. Um, and then we have for the um, for the uh, resistance we know it's going to be the uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, I R, so it's going to be I T times R, and for the uh, capacitor, we know that's going to be one over C zero to T I T D T and plus V C at T zero, um, and this is going to be equal to. I'm sorry, this is going to be positive, so it's going to be equal to. Vs. This is going to be equal to Vs. Now, if I, as I said, we don't want to have the integration in that equation, so we are going to get the, the, the differentiate with respect to the t in for this equation. So what we are going to get is going to be L d uh, two i t dt square so the second derivative then is going to be r dit dt and then i'm going to have uh, <clears throat> uh, for this one it's going to be one over c uh, if i get the derivative of that it's going to be just it and for this part is going to be zero because it's constant and it's going to become uh, um, because the vs is also the, is time dependent so i can uh, it's going to be the vs of t so it's going to be d vs of t over dt so that's what um, we're going to have it and then if i'm going to divide everything with the uh, with the L. 
So what I'm going to get is going to be the, again, the, uh, the second derivative of the i respect to the t plus r divided by l d i t over d t plus one over l c i t yeah, is equal to one over l d v s t divided by dt. And then we can rewrite this equation as uh, 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 d t or d t squared. So the, the second derivative of that plus two alpha d i t over dt plus omega zero squared i t is going to be equal to f t. So we can rewrite that equation as that. And when we write it, we, can, we will say that in here, we assume the alpha is going to be r over 2l and assume the omega naught is going to be one over square root of L uh, C. So when we have that again, similar to what we have before, uh, I'm not going to do that, but we know that uh, the, the solution uh, similar to what we have before is going to contain the um, uh, particular uh, uh, solution and the uh, uh, complementary solution um, that we have. So here for if, if you have the, um, if you have the IT, so we can write it in more general uh, format. So if I write it either for general format in, instead of using I, because if I have write it for the V is, comes out uh, the same as this. So instead of I or V, I'm gonna use the X. So if I have the V, X, um, so it, the X can be I or can be T. Uh, can be I or can be V. Plus two alpha uh, D X T divided by D T plus omega naught squared, um, again, xt is going to be the, equal to the ft. And if, if we have that, the solution for that, the xt, it would be, become, again, it's going to be the same as for it's going to particular solution plus uh, the uh, complementary yeah, solution as as we had it for the uh, before um, uh, in in those cases I felt. and also before I forget also the ft here um, the ft is basically is one over l d b s t over d t. So generally we can write it here. And as I said, X represent either I or V. And then we comes with the particular solution and complementary solution. And then uh, we can um, uh, solve it to get the general uh, solution. Uh, I just uh, want to give some very quick introduction about how it works. <clears throat> 